Welcome everybody, Joe here from Odd Alerts. This is a, a quick update to the Value Bets API endpoint. Um, season ticket holders have been testing this out. Same with the Trends endpoint. Um, and you'll notice that this info property has now been added to the trend, uh, sorry, the value bets endpoint. Um, the value bets export was just that at first. It was just a raw data dump. Um, and then the sort of general API umbrella um, was announced. And then came the trends endpoint, um, which was formatted in the way I would want the endpoints to be formatted and, and works in the way that I would want all of the um, API endpoints to be working, you know, with uh, sorting options, filtering options, um, you can really customize it, it's got pagination, it's quick. Um, so the process has been, you know, taking the value bets endpoint that was just, as I say, a raw data dump and um, uh, adjusting it, just tweaking it to, to make it more in line with what I want the API to be like. So this is um, another step towards that. And um, soon there will be filtering options on this as well. You'll be able to filter for specific markets. You'll be able to sort the data. So we can see that we've got uh, page one um, per page 500 total results, which is total fixtures in this case, 2,623. And there's six pages. And you can see that um, we have this has more property. Now, this is what, if you're using your own scripts or you're using Google Sheets, this is what you should look for. Um, it, because then, you know, if this is true, what you want to do is make another call and call to the next page. To access the next page, we just add another property onto the URL, which is page equals, let's go to. And there we are, we're on page two now. So if you try and go on page seven, it'll just, you know, it'll just kill the, the process because it would just be an endless loop if it took you back to page one, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, that's how you use the new pagination on the ValueBets API endpoint. And um, yeah, stay tuned to Discord. And uh, if you've got any questions, just pop it in the Discord. I don't use Google Sheets, um, so I'll try and help as best as I can. But there are some people doing uh, crazy good work in the Discord with Google Sheets, of course. Um, I would suggest learning Python. If you've got a spare hour, you'd, you'd be surprised. You'd be really surprised how much you can just get up and running in a short space of time with a, a single Python file on your local machine that just fetches the data and then does something with it. Um, you could even just export that to a, a CSV every day, a new CSV, and then have your local um, Excel application or numbers application read that file rather than um, doing everything through Google Sheets because some of the, the feedback that I've seen from Google Sheets users is that you know you've got to pay for another plugin or you, the, the customization just isn't quite there or if it is it's through again another third party plugin or something along those lines with Python you can literally do anything you want with the data there's there's so many um, options and, and and plugins and open source projects that you can just um, lean on. Um, you could send Telegram alerts from your local machine if you wanted to whenever you run this file, and then you can get it to run automatically. Um, Python Anywhere is another good site as well. Once you've got this Python file uh, set up and, and solid, you can then just host it and get it to run every whatever you want, you know, and then and then just do something with that data and uh, process it in whatever way you want. So yeah, that's a, a quick update. And um, as always, let me know your feedback. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it.